The tongue is the smallest member of the body, yet it is still the most powerful. The Bible said in Proverbs 18, 21, that life and death are in the power of the tongue. That is the foremost reason you must be watchful at how you speak negative words to yourself. And you must not permit anyone to speak negative words to you. In the spirit realm, there is nothing like I said so and so by mistake. Angels and demons are activated by the words of the mouth. You are welcome to this channel. If today is your first time, I am adopting you into my prayer circle and I'll be praying for you and your family daily. All you have to do is to stay connected by hitting the subscribe button in red letter and hitting the notification bell so that YouTube reminds you when I drop any of the prayers God places in my heart for you. You are to take authority in the name of Jesus by nullifying negative words you might have said to yourself and the ones, the evil ones pronounced against you. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loose in heaven. Now is the time to use that authority you have in the name of Jesus by joining your faith with mine to nullify all negative words the enemies have said to you that are producing negative results in your life. I decree over you that all the negative words that you might have made unknowingly to yourself are nullified in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the enchantments of the evil ones made against you shall not stand in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all curses that are working contrary to God's will for your life are nullified. I also decree that all negative words said to you that are making you not walk in your God-ordained destiny are cancelled. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I wash away all the wrong words people have said to you that have lowered your self-esteem in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will never lose your position by the wrong counsel of the enemies. In the name of Jesus, you will never leave the will of God for your life due to wrong counsel from people who do not mean well for you. The Bible says in Psalm 140 verse 8, The Lord will not grant the desires of the wicked and he will not promote their evil devices so that they will not be exalted. I decree over you that all the evil words the wicked ones have spoken against you will not stand because the Lord will not permit it. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be made useless in life by the enemy's evil pronouncements against you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the negative words people have said to you in the past that have kept you in a circle are annulled. In the name of Jesus, walk in the will of God for your life. I decree that only God's counsel for you will stand. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not enter wrong agreements with people unknowingly through the words of your mouth. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will never become an object of ridicule to the enemies. I pray for you that divination and incantation made against you shall not stand because you are a seed of Abraham. In the name of Jesus, I pray that anyone given wrong advice to your destiny helpers is rendered foolish. The word of God says in Michael 2, 1, Walk to him who scheme iniquity and work out evil on their beds. When morning comes, they do it, for it is in the power of their hands. I decree that all the evil counsels of the evil ones made against you and your family is put to null and void in the name of Jesus. Just like the evil pronouncements made by Haman, to the children of Israel backfired on him. I decree that all the evil pronouncements made by the evil ones will backfire on them and their negative pronouncements will work in your favor. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be paralyzed by the negative pronouncements of the powers of darkness against you. By the power and the blood of Jesus, 
I wash away all the negative words people have said to you in the past that is impeding your progress in life. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I pray for you that the Holy Spirit helps you to tame your tongue. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will not expose yourself to the wicked ones via your words. I thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Please endeavor to drop your testimonies and prayer requests. I will keep on praying for you. God bless you. Amen.